It's one of those things you figure you'd hope would happen during your career, and uh, normally it doesn't. It's now been 30 years since geologist Bob Grantham got the call of a lifetime from a mine worker who said he found a tusk and big teeth at the National Gypsum Mine in Milford, Nova Scotia. It's basically priceless. Grantham says he stopped to do a little dance, but then headed right out. I didn't wait for the truck to stop. Uh, I jumped out to get to the bones uh, right away because you could see them. What lied beneath was the most complete mastodon skeleton ever found in Nova Scotia, extremely well preserved. In the process of mining for gypsum, 30 meters of clays, muds, and boulders are removed. Gypsum is a soft rock that dissolves easily in water. Sinkholes developed uh, 80,000 years ago. Mastodons are walking along on the land surface and perhaps walking through some of these sinkhole areas. And this particular mastodon got stuck in the mud. Along with the bones, a large pile of well-preserved dung was discovered, which provided a window into what life would have been like during the age of the mastodon. You know, it was walking along a forested spruce forest, eating some spruce browse along the way. There were some insects on those spruce boughs, and it, it ate those. We see those in the dung as well. Um, and anything that fell into this sinkhole was, was preserved. So we get a really great picture of what the, the ecology and the climate was like 80,000 years ago. Anywhere there's gypsum, you'll likely be able to find sinkholes and fossils within them. The bones will be on display as part of a new exhibit at Nova Scotia's Museum of Natural History.